petite dog. That would probably fit little Winston. Oh, we got more Mother's Day cards. <laughs>
gonna set my darn gloves here. Right? There she is. It's the Ariana Grande. Oh, don't fall. Things of perfume. Let's check the spot real quick. <laughs> yep. That's it for this one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just had a huge score at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I'm not filming at this particular location, um, but I just scored this UGG. Oh my God. Let's see, it's a full queen comforter set. That is so pretty. I scored a bunch of coffees, huge bag of sheets, all kinds of sheets. I scored another steamer, a Revlon hair thingy. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't wait till the end of the video to show you. I'm like shaking. <laughs> this is so awesome. Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Um, I'm a little <laughs> tired from um, yesterday's live auction. Um, yeah, it's just, it feels like it's just a whole, a whole day of preparing and uh, whatnot, but it's so much fun. And I actually been really looking forward to Sundays and I just feel like our a little group of people we get together and um, it's just so much fun and uh, we love new people coming and joining in so if you haven't been to our live auction it's on Sundays at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and uh, we're trying to do them every Sunday right now so again if you haven't joined definitely uh, stop by and say hi and see the fun stuff that we uh, auction off and again, thank you to everyone who did join us uh, yesterday. All right, you guys, so let's begin. This was really fun. Um, it was just such an exciting week, but you saw the bed that I found. And I don't know if you guys remember a while back, but I found one of these, and this is Winston's uh, bed. So Winnie loves his little bed, and this is perfect. There is nothing wrong with this side, but they did tear it here, but they didn't tear they just tore the lining. They didn't tear the stuffing part, but that's the bottom. So this is perfect. 
Um, so yeah, maybe we'll we'll auction this off uh, Sunday at the live auction. And I would love for someone to get this. And Winnie just loves flopping in here. <laughs> he'll he'll run at this thing like a hundred miles an hour and just flip on in it. He's he's hilarious. I'll have to film that for you guys. Um, I actually have a um, because when I got Winston, he was like two and a half pounds, and um, oh my God, he was just so tiny. And um, I bought him a dog playpen. Um, that way he was safe when he was sleeping at night. And I'd have his little playpen next to my bed. Because um, he just, when he got older, of course, he slept with me in the bed. But couldn't risk a two and a half pound dog falling out of the bed or rolling over and sleeping on him. Um, but the playpen had a door so you could zip the side of it. So then he can run in and out. And oh my gosh, you guys, he would run around the house a hundred miles an hour he would fly into his playpen bounce off the back wall and then just look at me like what just happened <laughs> oh it was just so cute so uh yeah when we move we'll put his playpen back up and uh i'll have to do some some video footage for you guys it's just hilarious um okay you guys seen um from the dollar tree which i don't really score a lot from there almost all the a lot of the Dollar Trees around town, they lock their dumpster. This particular one doesn't, but um, did score some more Mother's Day cards. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I have found so many Mother's Day cards. It's insane. Um, and we did have a bunch of the Mother's Day cards in the live auction boxes. You know, what I was thinking about doing is just putting a big selection of each card that I have and just putting them in a bag and then just selling them, not, not auctioning them. Um, just selling it for, you know, cheap, fun price that you guys, that way you guys can get a ton of cards. I mean, you'll save hundreds of dollars in cards and they'll, they'll be different ones, you know, to friends, to family, to, to moms, from daughter, from son. Um, there, there's such a huge collection, but yeah, we'll just, we'll do something, uh, cheap and, and small, no big deal. And then you guys can just buy it and not not bid on them. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll do that for next Sunday. Um, then you guys seen, I found this little, little dog collar and, oh, this was from the Dollar Tree too. Just the LA colors, little pressed powder. Um, did score a candle. I haven't been scoring candles in a while. Uh, but this one was the holiday scented candle. It just smells Christmassy cinnamon. Um, then I got these balls of yarn. Actually, I forgot to show you guys this clip from last the last week. Um, but got three big things there. And then from Party City, and as you can see, Michaela's already uh, ripped open this. <laughs> but uh, we're just going to donate this to Children's Hospital. They, they take the candy that I find. And, um, so we'll give them that. And then, oh, Michaela loves this one. These are like her favorite. She loves those little, um, these are ones we've never seen, but they're a sour burger. <laughs> we've only seen the regular little gummy um, hamburgers, but they had um, little, they had little hot dogs. And then my favorite gummy is the Coke bottles. Love those. Um, yeah, so Michaela. She wanted to keep that one so yeah so far um not a bad little score here guys so you've seen i grabbed this uh ariana grande bottle perfume this was the little stand i was too lazy to go in my bedroom and get the uh makeup remover wipes but uh yep yeah, we'll clean that up of course that was missing but we'll find a replacement and then uh this amber roll-on fragrance Smells pretty. Both of them smell really pretty. So not too bad. Uh, that particular location, they damage. Uh, they always really damage the all the makeup and stuff. But at least we got we got something saved. And then um, I was showing these last night during the live auction. Everyone who won something is going to get one. Um, but scored this big bag full of all of the year. 
uh, Bath and Body Works aprons that the workers wore. And um, so they had the regular ones. Then they had the little Santa crew. There was a little wear on that. I need to go through them all and make sure I pick the best ones and mail them to our auction winners. Um, this one was really cute. The Santa crew and then it had the certified nice. Um, love that little checker gingham accent. But yeah, I was really excited to find those. All right, guys. So this is everything from the Bed Bath & Beyond. I wasn't filming that day. I was out running errands and um, I just peeked and I was so in shock. <laughs> and this is crazy. So this is two big bags full of, um, I'm pretty sure this is what it is, um, this company. But they're Silky and Smooth Egyptian Cotton 625 Thread Count. Now this bag had... There must be like eight to ten of these um, pillow queen size pillowcases. So there's a bag full of those. Then these are, I'm assuming, all the sheets. So um, I don't know if there's like five sets in here. But fantastic because I was just talking with Michaela. And I'm like, you know, we need to get you some new sheets uh, when we move. Uh, Mr. Inspector, there he is. Do you approve that, champ? Is that to your satisfaction? Okay, thanks, buddy. Um, and I go out and I find these. It's crazy. It's uh, it's just wild. We just shook our heads and <laughs> was like, it is just amazing that the things that we talk about or end up needing and then we end up finding it. Um, so I've been finding quite a few of these. Um, I haven't found it in a while, but during Christmas I found a bunch. So I don't know why people are returning them because it works pretty well. Um, I kept one and uh, I guess you just really have to know how to how to use it. But um, I'm sure it works. And again, they didn't cut. They didn't cut the cord. Thank you so much, Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, for not doing that. So I'm sure you'll see that this Sunday at the live auction. And then you guys scored another one of these. Now, I found one of these a while back, and they did cut the cord on it. I did keep it. Um, I'm not a cord fixer. Uh, it's just not my thing. If you guys that do fix cords and you guys are know more about it or more comfortable with it, I, I'm just terrified uh, if I don't fix it right and it starts a fire. Like, um, So I'll leave that for the pros. Uh, but the one I did find had this big sticker right here, and it says, like, the number one handheld steamer. So, and they didn't cut the cord, you guys. So, I already have another handheld steamer that I really like. Uh, but I'll try this out, make sure it works, and I'm sure you guys will see it Sunday. I need to price that out. I'm curious what that goes for. This feels, like, heavy duty. Very nice. Um, the other thing I found from the Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, so, I was reading about these. Um, I found one a long time ago, but uh, it was damaged. But it's an olive oil sprayer. This is the simple, easy way to spray olive oil without using aerosol or chemical propellants. Instead, it uses air pressure to deliver a fine mist of any type of olive oil you choose. That means healthier cooking and eating because of only pure olive oil comes in contact with your food. Well, that is super cool. And if you've seen my couple videos ago, I found those two big giant bottles of olive oil from World Market. So we are going to fill this up and uh, use that because olive oil is fantastic for you. Um, then I found two boxes of these milk pods. I was looking these up too before. I didn't even know um, the first time I found these a few months back. I didn't even know they sold the stuff, but, um, but yeah, and it shows it expired May 2021, but, um, I'm sure those are fine. All right, guys, I'm saying the best for last. Um, ta-da, can you believe it? Another freaking Ugg. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, I know if you guys have watched my videos, I find tons of Ugg blankets from back after Christmas. I think I found 10 total, maybe more. 
Um, yeah, so, and I just found that one last week that we just sold at our live auction last night, and I'm sure my girl Tot just won that, so, uh, I'm excited for her to get it, and then I go back out and I found this one, oh my gosh, and look at, here is the sham, here's your little Ugg thing, and they didn't damage it, they didn't spray paint it, they didn't cut it, oh my gosh, I was like, thank you. Thank you, Bed Bath & Beyond. I just don't want to scrub spray paint out of this beautiful comforter. So this is a full queen comforter set. And I'm going to have to, um, Michaela and I are going to lay it out, check it out. Because she's got a real pretty white one. And um, we're going to see if this is uh, one that she would want. If not, you'll see it this Sunday at the live auction. All right, guys. Well, this was it for uh this video i have some amazing more finds i can't wait to show you um that will be for wednesday's uh premiere video which will be premiering at 1 p.m mountain standard time again i do videos on mondays wednesdays fridays 1 p.m mountain standard time and we do our live auctions on sundays at 7 p.m mountain standard time so i hope that you guys join us if you guys don't know what a premiere video is, it is when I upload the video, we live chat while it's playing for the first time. So I would love for you guys to come and join us and chat with us while we watch the video. All right. Well, that's it. You guys have a fantastic week. Um, I have a lot to do. <laughs> I have a lot of boxes to mail from the live auction. I have got uh, more videos to film and I've got to pack and move. So um, a busy, busy schedule. All right, guys, have a great day. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel. If you're new, hit the subscribe notification bell. Make sure you ring that bell because it notifies you when I upload my videos. All right. Love you all. See you at the next video.